Someone took a two week break from the uh, social media and my hamster's got an Instagram. Oh, that's what I knew. I got a hamster. Anyway, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome. Hello. Hi. It's been a good two weeks since I was here, mainly because I've moved flat. Me and Becca moved into our own flat and I've been building this little background up. I started a new medication so lots happened but anyway and that'll be in the update video that is going to come later on but first off let's do this one this video is an open letter to my younger self i know right now things are terrifying i need to understand what's happening but i want you to know things will get better it's going to take time and you've got a rocky road ahead and there'll be moments where you really want to give but don't because right around the corner you're going to meet the love of your life the struggles you face are not going to be easy in fact, you're going to face things you wouldn't believe and you make mistakes. A lot of mistakes. I'm not going to sit and pretend things are just going to fall into place because you've got a steep, steep hill climb and and unbelievable things are going to happen. You're going to have things thrown at you that you never thought you'd have thrown your way. As I'm recording this, and as I wrote this, I'm no longer in contact with my mum. And I have next to nothing when it comes to motivation. But that just comes with depression. There's going to be some very traumatising things coming. Things that I wouldn't want anyone to go through now. And I have a hard time believing sometimes all the stuff that actually happened to me that is real. Don't let people invalidate what you go through. You need to try yourself on being open, being honest and not really caring about what I mean is you can't please everybody. I'm a hell of a people pleaser. I try to please everybody even though I know it's not possible. The road you got ahead of you is traumatising, honestly horrifying. In 2018, when you're 20, you're going to be attacked 20, you're going to have something thrown at you that not many people go through. And that honestly to today you still have issues processing. In 2018, the 16th of June, 16th of June 2018 is the day that you get attacked by police and there's no words I can say that would ever make that easy. You got sectioned straight after the attack and the month later you nearly successfully end your own life. In that moment I wanted to give up. I genuinely believed every hope I'd ever had in my life had been taken away from me. I believed that I was doomed. I didn't think I could get back up from everything that happened, but I did. It's taken a lot of work. And when I'm writing this, I still take medication. I'm always going to take medication. I've been told that. There's a lot of things I come to terms with. When I was 17, when you're 17, you get diagnosed with aggressive arthritis. And me at 20, now, three years later, the pain is almost unbearable. I'm not going to sit and pretend that it's fine. Because it's 2019. You're faced with something that you didn't believe was ever going to happen. Your best friend commits suicide and even now you can't process it you can't you can't get your head around the fact that this person is gone like you miss them so much losing anyone is an emotional journey that i wouldn't want to wish on anyone it's hard it's long and well complicated Losing someone to suicide and losing someone to, to natural causes are two very different things. Both things that I've witnessed. When I was 17, I witnessed two deaths in a year, and that was my ex and my granddad, my great granddad, who died on his eighth heart attack in recess in Warsaw. Threw himself in front of a train, and that is something I'll never get my head around or, or come to terms with. That just I just want you to know that everything you're about to go through is not your fault. You never asked for it. And no matter how many times people try and spin the story and make you out to be a bad person when you're not, it will get easier. And there are always people out there who care. Avoid a few people on social media. The two-faced bitches. The main message of this is you really can overcome 
anything you can work through and you can cope with things and you know you're still alive and that's what matters and that's the thing. <laughs> okay so real talk everything i just wrote was something that if i had been told that as a kid or when i was 13 14 i wouldn't believe it and be like, there's no way that's going to happen to me. The truth is, things happen that are out of your control and there's only so much you can do to cope with that and deal with that. And one of the most important things for me, not losing sight of wanting to be well. I had a lot of slip ups in the last year, but at this current moment in time, I have just started a um, stabiliser. I've moved in with my girlfriend, I'm going into my last year at uni and I'm happy. I'm still depressed but the thing that has been worse me recently is my anxiety. My anxiety has been horrific. Like I literally, I have had no motivation to even film a video and not many of you know this but I'm actually not working at the minute anymore and th there's nothing more to it really. Um, I'm not working at the moment and I haven't been for the last week. Mainly in this last week, I, um, me and Becca moved, like I said, we moved. You know, it's been, I look like going from being employed to I haven't got a job was been a bit like, but then you take a step back and actually look at what you, what's changed. A lot of you know, I worked for, well, I worked on behalf of Test and Trace, NHS and the press it gets isn't even the half of it. Like there's so it's so shit. And I can say that because <laughs> I don't work for them anymore. I wanted to sit here on this because I had it planned and obviously a lot's been going on recently. Like it's not really that common that I take like a long break of YouTube because I find making videos quite therapeutic actually. And what I want you to take from this is that even though you don't know what's going to happen around the corner or you don't know what the future holds or you don't know what the outcome's going to be whether you've been dragged through court you've been impatient not getting any treatment or not getting support there is always hope there's always the stuff you can do and you can work on that the last week i've been watching two youtubers in particular both of them are motivational speakers and i found i didn't mention this earlier on but I've, i'm actually now four months out of hospital which is huge that's four months since an attempt on my life that's four months since i self-harm that's huge for me that is massive and didn't think i'd ever get to that point i didn't even didn't i didn't think i was gonna live to be 20 or 22. i look back and i'm like i'm literally 22 now and the amount of things i've been through is a lot um i've always 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 said this to myself and i don't have it as bad as other people and i don't like other people do have it worse but that doesn't take away from what i'm going through and that's what i've really had to kind of slap myself with and well here i am <laughs> but um I am back on YouTube and I want to say thank you for supporting me while I've been away and yeah I'm here and I've moved flat so that's something and I've got a hamster that's also got something I love my little hamster my nibbles very thin little nibbles nibble nibble and then she when I get her mom was like little nibble nibble because it's so cute anyway I've got a hamster I'm happy, I moved flat and I'm no longer working but I think that was for the best because I was getting really, really bloody exhausted by it and not for the reasons people think. It wasn't a very demanding job, it was emotional at times and if you have any questions about anything that I've said in this video or video ideas or just generalised questions, ask me in the comments and I'll answer. But yeah, thank you for being there while I've been away. It's been it's been nice reading all the comments actually. And I do get to say that very often. Because I mean, most people know that I get trolled unbelievably. I can't really talk too much about that actually at the minute. Thinking on that. 
I am gonna dye my hair tonight as well. Hello, <laughs> again. <laughs> um, that's all I got with this video, if you are new. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And, you know, join the fam. Right, um, I'm gonna go because uh, I've been outroing for like five minutes. Stay safe and stay strong. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye.